have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. ReviveNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Even when you see a baby that is born, the baby didn't actually, wasn't born. That's your language. But if you could talk to the baby when the baby was in the mother's womb, the baby will tell you, I'm about to die. And it dies to the world that it knows for nine months. Nine months it was eating, drinking, swimming. It was safe in the mother's womb. And then one day, the heavenly father says, it is time. And it dies to the world that it was so comfortable. Death is a transition into another life. It's when somebody is fully developed. There's no more left to develop in one world. They are now introduced to another world. That means you cannot introduce yourself to another world without dying to this world. That is why when a baby is born, it, it is born by crying. You think it's crying because that's what all babies do. No, it's crying because it just died. And now it is reborn into another world. That is why Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. There is a rebirth. There is a rebirth, a rebirth into another world. There is a moment where there's a prophecy over Jesus through John the Baptist. He said, there is somebody that is coming behind me. He, I baptize you by water, but he shall baptize you by the Holy Spirit and by fire. And the word is and. So don't say that the Holy Spirit and fire are the same thing. Holy Spirit and fire. John 20 verse 22 please. We need to get this clearly. We can't have any confusion in our minds. This is after resurrection. See verse 20. When he said he showed them his hands and his side. He's saying look I was crucified. And then after that, verse 22, and he, when he has said this, he breathed on them and said unto him, Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. Okay. So tell me, if Jesus blows on you and say, Receive the Holy Spirit, will you receive the Holy Spirit? Okay. So that means they've already had the Holy Spirit. They have the Holy Spirit. They have the Holy Spirit. It is only the Holy Spirit that will allow you to sit at the feet of Jesus. If you are found sitting at the feet of Jesus, it is because the Holy Spirit is helping you. So if you see the disciples sitting in the upper room for seven days, do you think it is them or the Holy Spirit? So they have the Holy Spirit already now with them. He said, stay until you receive power from high <laughs> now if you look closely at Acts chapter 2 you see power how did the power come fire came and sat upon them now the prophecy of John the Baptist is fulfilled the one who comes after me he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire so when he says, receive the Holy Spirit, they are being baptized by the Holy Spirit. And then they say, receive. When you stay in the presence of God, you're being baptized by fire. Who said the baptism of the Holy Spirit is receiving tongues? If majority says it, does it become that? So technically, if you lived as a Pentecostal for any number of times, when you hear the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you immediately think, Speaking of tongues. So then my question is, Jesus said, receive the Holy Spirit. Why didn't they speak in tongues? Jesus said, receive the Holy Spirit. Are you better than Jesus? 
So that means they received the Holy Spirit and they didn't receive tongues. So you can you can have the Holy Spirit and not speak in tongues. Ah. So don't know don't judge somebody that doesn't speak in tongues. They may already have the Holy Spirit. So when you accept Jesus, when you accept Jesus, you become the temple of the Holy Spirit. When you accept Jesus, what? You become the temple of the Holy Spirit. But there is a higher dimension when you sit at his feet then comes the fire the baptism by fire is for the christians that take time to sit at his feet man dolorosi kenebe i'm sorry to break your bubble i'm sorry to break religion in this house there are hundreds of thousands of churches today that say they have jesus that say they have holy spirit but they are not immersed by fire it is time for a generation to be immersed by fire when you are immersed by fire one of the characteristics is you are set apart you are consecrated oh mandolo rosetta baba Anybody that you come in encounter with now has to be purified. Hey, sharp rocosia. When you're immersed by fire, people that come in encounter with you must be purified. The reason why the church is not effective as the way you're supposed to be effective is because we have the Holy Spirit but the Holy Spirit is saying I'm waiting on you to stay at my feet I shall not devalue the glory of heaven the glory of heaven is not for free sale it is for people that sit at the presence of Jesus the glory of Jesus is for people that will linger a little longer long enough that they begin to match the timeline of heaven john sat <laughs> in the island of patmos so long with no friends no family members no cousins no barbecue parties no friends no no birthday parties no wedding parties sat there loving jesus alone in an island surrounded by wild beasts surrounded with no protection everything was stripped away from him no social life no facebook no instagram just sat in the island of patmos he sat long enough that heaven looked down and said come up here come up here come up here zanam brakadana so if you can stay at the feet of jesus something happens there is a transition that will happen the transition usually happens listen don't miss what i'm going to say now transition happens when your spirit hears a command transition happens every word that is preached has a command in it I uh, don't miss this. Land of brokers here. Every word that is preached has a command in it. But very few people everybody is hearing but very few people are listening. Some people they pick up the command. Now the command becomes the chariot that takes them on an encounter. If you ask the young man He will tell you I was hearing you hearing you for 30 days nothing happened 35 days nothing happened until his spirit picked up a command on Sunday an instruction that went into his spirit and he begins to respond to that command that command translated him 
into the next dimension so the question is what is your spirit picking up that can translate you into another dimension has your spirit picked up a command everybody every christian around the world they're listening to some sermon or the other but it's not the most popular sermon that is taking you into an encounter the word that is sent to you has your name on it and it has a command in it the heaven begins to go light the timeline of heaven will come into the timeline of earth it collides it crashes it mary sits at the feet of jesus listening and she begins to hear things that everybody heard but nobody listened and she sees the resurrection glory and she realizes i'm doing it wrong i'm doing it wrong so this time she doesn't come to his feet as a student to a teacher this time there is a command in her spirit you don't come to his presence empty handed so this time she comes to his presence as jesus the lord over her life with a teacher she wouldn't bring an expensive ointment but she now knows he is the lover of her soul she now knows is more than just a teacher he is the messiah so the words that she was listening she heard it long enough until the words now begin to change her heart the posture of her heart changed to a place where now she comes and worships jesus in a way she had never worshiped him before and jesus looks at the hearts of the people there and everybody is criticizing her saying what a waste of money she should have given it to the poor people she was pouring it out to the lover of her soul she comes now she has a revelation jesus rebukes everybody else in the room and she says something to her so powerful he says leave her alone she is preparing for my burial In other words she's preparing me for the resurrection glory What did Jesus do translate her to a dimension that she was not even aware existed before She doesn't even know that there is a resurrection glory she doesn't even know that she's going to partake of it she doesn't even know that she is now going to be one of the women that will witness the resurrection power that she will be one of the few people that will be the first to witness the glorious Jesus but the resurrection encounter did not happen afterwards it happened when she had a revelation of who Jesus was began to worship him the way he must be worshiped that prepared her to experience the glorious Jesus listen Can I can I trouble some people It was not Peter James and John that saw Jesus glorified It was not they who saw it first <laughs> It was this woman who had a revelation in her spirit She began to worship him differently So the Lord began to promise her long before the glory was manifested Please don't lose this long before the glory was manifested jesus began to prophesy to her that this is about to happen this glorious event is going to happen you don't know about it 
but your revelation and understanding that is coming from sitting at my feet i'm giving you a formula your understanding that is coming from sitting at my feet is going to change your posture of how you worship me that is going to prepare you to encounter the glorious jesus do you see the formula one more time now you're sitting at my feet you're hearing the word you're hearing the word you're hearing the word you're hearing the word there is a new understanding of who jesus is now she worships him with new understanding now she sits at his feet not the way she sat at the feet before because that was religious mary this is now mary with a revelation when mary with a revelation approached the feet of jesus she was qualified to be the first who will see the resurrected jesus the first that will see the glorious jesus the first to see the glorious jesus this formula she sat at the feet of jesus long enough to receive a command into her spirit let me show you the same formula elsewhere jesus appears to the disciples who has been hearing him sitting at his feet for three and a half years and they don't understand who he is and now the resurrected jesus comes to him comes to them and saying it's not done it's not done there is more look at a neighbor and say there's more and he gives them he gives them a instruction which is a command the command was stay 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 sit at my feet stay in the upper room stay wait wait there wait it was a command he commanded the disciples to wait when the words of jesus become a command into your spirit and you follow the command more than you follow your family and your friends marobra kazantalaria that command will lead you into an encounter so the disciples now hear jesus and hears they they listen to his command obeys the command waits on him and when they wait on him the word matures and the word matures into an encounter jesus is the word am i right okay how did jesus come into mary's womb because it was spoken spoken into existence by the overshadowing of the holy spirit okay everything in the kingdom exist by words okay now jesus is on earth by command it is a command of the father he commands the son to go die for these people it is a command that causes word to become flesh invisible to visible word becomes flesh visible invisible to visible the journey in between there is a command okay disciples there is a command stay they stay the word is here command is here you stay long enough word becomes flesh word becomes manifested invisible to visible you're getting a command stay so they stay they don't see they don't see because it takes time for the word to become flesh but if you stay long enough the timeline of heaven matches boom it manifests ah are you getting this same thing with same thing with mary encounters although it looks like it happened overnight it didn't happen overnight there is a time when those word is a seed in your heart and you don't rush the word mary sits at the feet of jesus 
she has an end, she has a revelation of who Jesus is there is some dying that happens now after that there is a waiting period that revelation moment she waits she has a revelation of who Jesus is this is the messiah this is the glorious Jesus there's a revelation the word has a command she waits long enough stays at the feet of Jesus long enough does not go attracted by the world she stays focused on Jesus she waits long enough where word can manifest word can become flesh invisible can become visible boom she was the first to have a glorious encounter of Jesus so greetings from Canada we are so glad that you could join us through this God TV program I'm sure the word of God has been like fire in your bones. Now allow that fire to take you to places and fulfill those God-given assignments. Thank you for following us and partnering with us. Every seed that you send is a blessing to us. May the Lord remember your giving and richly bless you. Much love to you and shalom. Many of us love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much he loved us, he gave up his only begotten son. He is not looking for part-time Christians nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. and Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything distance is not a barrier to god revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services 